can't do anything with us. Now is your chance. Because after you march around on the seventh time, the Bible said he told everybody, lift up your voice in a shout. Lift up your voice and make a noise. Lift up your voice and shout. And every now and then, brothers and sisters, when we're going through something, you ought to just lift up your voice and shout. You ought to just lift up your voice and shout hallelujah. And you ought to just lift up your voice and shout praise the Lord. Because the lyrics is coming and the enemy is irritated by the noise and the walls are coming down. Lift your voice and say hallelujah. Thank God. So they shouted and when they shouted, the walls fell flat. And brothers and sisters, that's what God wants to do. He wants to bring down your walls. He wants to bring down your opposition. He wants to bring down your circumstance. He wants to bring down things that are set up. He wants to bring down what the enemy sought to destroy. So the walls came down. The walls came down. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. And so as we begin to look at this little Jehoshaphat, here's another situation where when the people began to make a noise, when the people began to shout, when the people began to glorify God, praise the Lord, when they came together, the Bible said that God should have sent to us a, 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 a singers, and the singers went before the army. The singers went ahead of the army. Now you know that's bad military status, and I'll tell you why. Because any times I say before, when you're on the battlefield, you got to be quiet. You don't go out there making noise. You don't go out there, you got to be quiet.